Today on The Hobby Grotto, we're painting a tiny, tiny goblin. Alrighty, no better place to start than Warboss Green for the skin on this little guy. This miniature is from Warmaster, which was a smaller scale war game released by Games Workshop in the 2000s. I found him when I was going through some old bits and I thought this would be a fun project because you don't get much smaller than a goblin in 10mm scale. I want to do an overbrush on this chainmail with Ironbreaker, so best to do that now before I've laid down any of the other colours, just so it doesn't get too messy here. I'm kind of freestyling this paint job in terms of the amount of layers and highlights I'm going to need. I may very well get carried away, but the metal should be fine with just a wash I reckon. Now I'm taking inspiration with this colour scheme from the classic GW Night Goblin art, so time to paint some details, firstly with corn red for his little shoes and the belt buckle, and they, even though they had the black kind of robes, they, they had a lot of other kinds of yellows and red colours dotted about, so I'm going to try and replicate that here. I'm also going to add some yellow bits with Ablin Sunset. This means too small for me to add effective flames on the hood edge, but I wanted to keep that yellow colour in there. Um, and normally for yellow, I'd start with a brown and work up to a pure yellow, but for details of this scale, it's not going to matter too much, I can get away with less coats. I'm putting down XV88 on his bow, just to give it a nice mid-brown. And generally when I paint bows, I use something like Rhinox Hide, so it's not too distracting with the other colours, but it's kind of the opposite with this guy, and things of this scale, and I want that bow to be a bit more readable. Ooh, I almost forgot his teeth. Gotta be super careful here and do a semi overbrush just to pick out the most raised areas of each tooth. It probably would have been sensible to do this before the skin, but that's okay, we'll, we'll get through it. Anything left on the model is going to be black, so I'm coming along here with a very dark grey that I've mixed with Abaddon Black and Dawnstone. And this is generally how I paint my blacks. I use a dark grey and then I give it a wash and then I add some pure black into the shadows. Time for the classic Nuln Oil Shade. I have a feeling washes are going to work well with minis of this scale, but we'll see. This is all kind of an experiment. I'm being extra vigilant as well for pooling because the details are already so fine here. I'm going back now, the wash is dry with each of the base colours, and just giving them all a, a touch up while leaving that shading from the Nuln Oil. This is also going to bring back a little bit of the vibrancy of these colours and neaten up any areas where the wash shouldn't have settled. You can also fix up any mistakes in this phase. Sometimes a wash can highlight things you may have missed previously, and sometimes I even completely change colours here if they're not quite working with the overall piece. Next up some highlighting. This is a bit of yellow mixed with Warboss Green to lighten the colour, but also to make sure it doesn't get a, a washed out look, I want to kind of keep that green vibrancy here to, to match that classic goblin look. These kinds of miniatures don't need much in the way of highlighting, but the skin is a focal point, so I'm going to do a couple of layers here. I've added more yellow to the mix, and I'm just blending all this up further, concentrating on areas like the nose and the hands. I actually went back after this and added a tiny spot of pure yellow to the tip of his nose for some final definition as well. Now to highlight the details. A few spots of aerial yellow on his hood emblem and the scabbard. I was actually going to change this scabbard to a brown colour because I wasn't really feeling the yellow, but I ended up leaving it just to give the miniature a bit more colour. The final highlight on the red details is with Mephiston Red, and you could definitely stop there, but I still wanted to come back and give a final highlight with Evil Sun Scarlet. I was even thinking about doing one more highlight after this, but let's not get carried away. Some more highlight definition on the bow with a mix of XV88 and Ushabti Bone. I'm going to roll the dice and add some Dawnstone edge highlights to his robe. You can easily go too far with highlights on black and you know end up making the whole thing look too grey, so I've got to be careful here. And then all that's left is to pop him on his base. And that's a tiny goblin complete. What a fun project. I reckon everyone should have a go at panning something in this scale. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe to help me continue to make this kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time on The Hobby Grotto.